Hello fellow astrophotographers and welcome back to our channel. Uh, in the last few years we made quite a few design changes and upgrades to our flat panels. Uh, but we also got quite a few requests for the larger flaps. Um, that's why we prepared two new categories of the flaps. And the largest one of them uh, can even fit on the 8 inch reflector telescopes like this Newton Skywatcher. But uh, the larger flaps do have some limitations. Uh, like for example, it's very important uh, to mount them in the optimal position. Uh, for example, if you mounted the flap of this size uh, sideways, the flex due to the gravity can bend the plastic and the flap can struggle to close up. That's why it's important uh, to mount it in proper position. Uh, like for example on the top in relation to the ground when the telescope is parked. Um, here is a quick table of the mounting positions according to the flap category. As you can see the smaller flaps can be mounted in any position uh, but the larger ones uh, are limited to the upwards position mostly. Um, now when the flap is mounted in the optimal position, like this, uh, sometimes uh, the range calibration of servo motors is still required, like for example if it uh, fails to close up, so for example if it's closing and stays in this position, you have to perform the calibration. Now in the past uh, uh, we recommend that you do a manual physical calibration of the motor position, but now we have released new firmware where you can uh, simply use uh, the manual button of the flap panel to calibrate the servo motor end positions and reach uh, the magnets in the closed and in the open position. Now before I continue, I have put the link to the new firmware in the description of this video as well as the link to the updated user manual which explains the flap categories more extensively uh, including the table with optimal mounting positions. Now I will just quickly demonstrate how the end position calibration works with the manual button. So for example if you mounted flap like this and now want to try if it opens up and closes properly you long press the button it now goes to the open position. Okay we can see that the flap reached the magnets so this position is okay. Let's try to close it up now and see how it goes. Okay, so I intentionally set up this flap so it didn't reach the end position. As you can see, there is a gap. So now the calibration is required. The way you do this is you simply unplug the power and long press the manual button. Keep on holding it and connect the power again, keep on holding it, the LED starts flashing. Once this happens, you can release the button and now it will first go into the open position calibration. Now, since the open position is already okay, we just have to save it and you save this uh, position by long pressing the manual button for two seconds. Now we release it. And now it goes into the closed position calibration. As you can see, it didn't reach the end position again. Now we don't want to save this position, so we will not long press, but we will just short press button, uh, short press the manual button, and the flap panel will go a bit further, a few degrees further from the default closed, closed position. So let's try this. Now it goes first back a bit, and now to the new position. Okay. We can see that now the new closed position is uh, uh, optimal, it reaches the magnets and we simply save it by long pressing the manual button. Okay, now let's try it out again with new saved positions. First open up, like so, now let's close it up. And here we go, the new position is okay. 
Now, if you need to uh, redo this calibration sometimes in the future, it's no problem. You simply repeat the procedure. The end positions are first reset to the defaults. And then by short pressing the button during calibration, you move a bit further from the default position and save by long pressing the button. I hope this presentation was clear enough. Uh, you can check our 8-inch uh, flaps in our app shop. Um, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment below. Stay tuned and clear skies.